Hi everyone, it's Sue Ralph here with Birdcage Craft Studio and I'm bringing my crafting tip from me to you and this is number 53. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make this card and it's like um, a flat card but it's paper placing. Um, so you cut out different papers to make different elements on the card so I will go ahead and show you. So I've got myself a piece of DSP which is uh, three and a half by five and a quarter inches or nine centimeters by 13.3 centimeters and then I'm going to use my two inch hole punch okay circle one I'm going to punch a circle out of the middle so I've done that for quickness and then I'm going to take my one and three quarter and I'm just going to punch out a circle okay but overlapping the large circle so I've got one there and then I'm going to do one from the top as well okay so you end up with that sort of shape and then what you want to do is you want to take yourself a different piece of paper okay and you want your two inch punch again so I'm going to punch out the middle of the flower here with a little bit of the leaf and that's going to be punched out for the center and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this upside down and I'm going to place my picture on the back okay so this is going to be the front of my card and I'm going to place my big circle right in the middle and then I'm just going to use a little bit of sticky tape just to tape it in place at the back like so just a couple of pieces just to make sure it doesn't move and then the two half circles that I cut out the smaller circles I am then just going to place those in upside down so we get the different colors showing over okay so don't forget this is the back of the card and I'm just gonna stick those in so that they don't come out like so and then pop the other one in just like that make sure it all fits nice and flat stick that one in okay and then when you turn it over you can then see that you have got a different pattern already then what I'm going to do now that's all stuck down I'm going to bring in my little butterfly punch and I'm going to cut out a few butterflies in different places and I want it to overlap the circles and that's why you need to stick those circles in so I'm going to put one there and I think I have one flying slightly different direction coming off there and then I think we'll have another one just coming up the top here and overlapping there. Okay, so you don't need these little bits. Then what you need to do is get yourself some white cardstock and your butterflies. And I've already done two here very quickly. And then you just want to use the same colours that you're using in your background paper just to show okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now use a crisp cantaloupe very quickly stamp another little butterfly okay and then bring in my punch punch the butterfly out and then what you need to do again now that this crisp cantaloupe is quite a juicy ink pad so it's not quite dry so I'm going to leave that one till last I'm going to turn this back over again put my stamped butterflies face down just slip them in and then I'm going to use the tape again to tape them into place okay so one there another butterfly just in the bottom here make sure it goes in nice and flat okay and then the last butterfly just gonna pop that one in here and again make sure it goes into place nicely and stick it down and this is just a, a, an ordinary cellar tape sticky tape that I've got here okay and then you've got your pattern with your butterflies then you want to get yourself your other stamps and I'm going to use the leaf and this is out of kind of eclectic and I'm going to use the leaf with pear bazaz. I'm just going to put a couple of 
leaves in. So just ink your stamp up. I'm just going to put a couple of leaves just for decoration here. Maybe another one there. You know, put them anywhere you like really, you're just playing. And then I'm going to use the sunburst, which is here, and I'm going to bring in crushed curry. And again, I find that this um, ink pad is quite juicy. So when you're doing it, just be very, very careful that you don't over ink your stamps. Bring that round, and I'm just going to make sure it just misses that butterfly. Press down. And then you have your paper pieced all back in together. And then what you need to do then is you need to cut yourself a panel of white card. And I've cut it so it's just an extra half, um, just a centimetre extra width around. And I've sponged, sponged around the outside. And I also sponged around the outside of this piece that I layered in. Okay, so just put some tape down. Layer it all up. Oh, I've got a little bit of tape sticking out. You just nip that off. There we go. So I'm just going to layer that all up like so. I think just sponging around the sides has actually just made the the layers pop a little bit more. And then you want your card base, and again that's an extra quarter of an inch wider. And again, just put some tape down and then just stick that into place. And you have a flat card. They look slightly different because you have all those different elements punched out in different card stock. So that's my tip from, you, from me today. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.